Hello friends, welcome back to Anything About Everything and today I am very much delighted and excited to present you the Nivea Crane 2.0 in this video. This boot brought out the cameraman in me. I felt like just taking photos and product shots on and on. It's been a long journey for me and I have reviewed a lot of boots. But this one is special. Way above the rest and in this video I am going to tell you why so stay tuned and let's begin the video. Before starting just to show you the printed price and the price in the official website. It is priced on a higher range but there is a very good reason for that. It is backed up with quality. Nivea made this one keeping in mind the professionals. It is the AIFF official boot and is the part of the kit provided to players playing at that level. Nivea has improved and upgraded every aspect of this boot from the Nivea Crane version 1 to the version of the screen 2.0 is quite a feat. Nivea describes this boot upper to be made of polyurethane PU material but even if the material is the same like the other boots the finish seems to be something very different. The upper has a black matte finish not glossy and the touch of the upper is very smooth. Unlike the other PU material which gives away the feel of rubber because of the light sticky feel to it. The Nivea Crane's upper doesn't have that sticky feel and is very smooth. Your fingers will slide as you pass it across the surface of the upper. You will also feel tiny tinkles as you touch the upper because of the surface texture and on top of that there are patterns of arrowhead like projections distributed across both the sides of the boot which is embossed outwards. All this so that you can get a very comfortable touch with the ball and aid your Trivella shots with either the instep or outstep sides of your boot. I feel that the upper of the Nivea Crane is complete both in aesthetic and the practical design wise features. The upper also feels deceptively thin, paper like and light. Only when touching the inner I realize that it is reinforced with layers to give it strength and support. I hope you have guessed it right. I am quite impressed with the upper of this boot. Now moving to the inner of the boot. It is very difficult to show this part of the boot as it lies inside. The boot doesn't have a tongue. The cutout area of the boot is surrounded by lycra mesh collar which covers the tongue area and extends still the heel area of the boot. If you press the lycra collar it seems that there is a thin layer of foam added in between. The entire inner area has been meticulously stitched and layered with velvet-like thick fabric material which corresponds with the shape of the boot. The lower end of the lycra mesh collar seems to be tucked below the velvet material and stitched firmly. All this stitches and attention to detail is to make the inner feel seamless and make it act as a solid single unit improving its strength and durability. The velvet light fabric is similar to the inner of the adidas 16.3 boot which I used quite a long time ago. Now coming to the heel area which is subjected to pressure and tension while the athlete runs wearing the boot on matches. So this area is always reinforced with extra support by layering extra materials. The heel of the crane 2.0 is no different. The heel counter on the upper is an extra thick material which provides strength and support. The heel counter has been provided with cushion and padding and the surface of the heel counter has been given matte finish. The cushion around the heel area is also just fantastic and it improves the snug fit and the inside. The ankle lock of this boot is best by far I have experienced and the elastic collar helps but the design and the shape of the boot is such that it just sticks to your ankles. 
Some users were so impressed with this ankle lock that they even suggested that this boot can be played without laces. But why miss on laces when it's provided? The finish and the attention to details given to both the upper and the inner of this boot makes it stand out and stand apart and ensures superior quality and durability. I won't be surprised if people draw comparisons with some Adidas and Nike boots with the Nivea 2.0 crane. The insole has an EVA pre-molded technology which adds a snug fit to the insole and ensures better comfort. The pre-molded insole fits the shape of the shoe perfectly and sits with a lot of stability on the footbed. Hence, this is another attention to detail to enhance the quality of the boot. The outsole of the boot is an upgrade from the previous version of the Nivea boots. The outsole has been described as high shear strength TPU sole. The TPU sole may be stiffer in comparison with the other outsoles but it is definitely much tougher. It's pretty solid and strong outsole. The traction on the ground is surprisingly well balanced and comfortable with equally distributed angular, arrowhead like and hexagonal studs on either sides of the outsole. It is very comfortable to play on natural firm grounds like the ones shown in the video. You can play them on turfs and on wet muddy grounds but I won't suggest them on such playgrounds or such occasions. This must be your special boot and you use it for tournaments and specially comfort competitive matches. So you may buy it for different reasons and you may use it differently so it's up to you. Playing on turfs with this boot will diminish the durability of the outsole and is extremely and in extremely wet conditions on extreme rain where the boots get completely drenched in water the pasting gets weak if you play a lot in wet weather. Remember, it's a firm ground boot and it will perform best in this condition. Anyone who is buying a 1600 boot can buy a Nivea Dominator or Air Strike, which is around 700 to 800 rupees and will serve you best in rainy weather as it is molded as a single piece with no stitches or pasting. If you play mostly on turfs, you can buy a separate turf shoe. Sega Pull Up is a very good recommendation. It's a basic boot at lower prices. Hope you enjoy the playtest of this boot and I have explained earlier about the upper of this boot. It's great for trivilla shots. There's no doubt this boot is perfect for club level players. They play on good fields and they are pretty experienced. But any intermediate player can use this boot. It will last longer and will definitely help in matches friendly or competitive. Definitely it's going to hype your swag if you wear them. If you're fussy about football boots and you look for the best experience, this boot is by far the best at this price range of 1600 the entire video have said that this is an expensive boot but in actual it's a cheap boot cheap because this quality boot from brands like adidas and puma would cost around 3000 or more you are getting this from amazon and flipkart at a price of 1300 to 1500 which is absolutely a great deal make sure you are buying from good sellers and buying from these online sites can be tricky if you feel you want the best product and no compromises, buy from the official Nivea online store if you wish, but the price is more. Uh, the only uh, drawback to this boot is it is difficult to put your feet inside the Nivea crane because of the elastic top of the Lycra collar especially for white-footed players. So white-footed players, please keep that in mind.